down here in Lower Alabama, the peanut capital of the world, and we're going to show you how peanuts are harvested. Nice rows like this to the to the end product. So first thing we have here is this machine. You got these nice rows come in here, and these spades go in the ground about four to five inches deep. They kind of shear it up the dirt, and it runs up here, and what's called, it's what's called the bar, and it's lifted up and over to the back of these tines, and that's called the inverter. It flips them over and it rows and puts them into a nice big row. They can be picked up later by the, uh, the picking machine. This one will do three rows at a time. I'll show you some video of it. We'll hop in the cab of the tractor, see how it operates, and uh, show you how peanuts are harvested. comes out the other side, there's your one peanut plant here. Picks it up, shakes the dirt off the bottom of it through the bar there, and inverts it so it can dry, then can come back and pick it later after it sits out for uh, two to three days. So after the inverter comes through, they let the plant sit out for uh, anywhere two to four days. Uh, average range depending on the amount of sunlight and the temperature and if there's any rainfall in the dew uh, to let it dry out. When they do that, gives the, uh, the plant time to dry out, makes it brittle, you can roll it over, feel the leaves, and that helps the uh, picker, makes it a little more efficient, easier for it to separate the peanuts off the plant. And uh, when it's done, the plant falls off the back of it, or shot out the back, and they don't waste this, they'll actually come by uh, rake it up and bale it into round bales, usually anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 pound bales. As you saw it working in the field earlier, th these tines pick up the peanut plant and lift it into the drum here, and this auger brings it to the middle. If we can get it in here, we'll see. There's a series of drums in there and each one has its own set of teeth, says tines, and it, es it, it uh, thrashes the plant and disconnects, or dislodges the peanut from the plant and it goes up to the next stage and the next stage. And here's the, here's a drum, here's another, here's another, here's another, and here's another. And the peanut stays at the bottom of the, of the, uh, the area as it's thrashed, or thrashed by the thrasher and uh, the plant works its way up and is eventually blown out the back. And then they all collect. Here's the bottom side, side view. There's, a, there's one drum, there's another, there's another. And they all go at the same speed. And, and they collect in this one here. It's a big round solid one and there's a blower and an auger. It takes peanut from the middle of the machine to the outside edge and the blower forces it with air all the way up. 
Yeah, that was a bad. the hoppers. And give me a second. We'll run up here to the top and check it out. So here's the top side view. You can see down there, look past everything, and uh, you can see that each, uh, each drum is, or each thrasher with all its teeth on it. It just works its way up here. And kind of see the holes down in there where the peanut falls through into the bottom of the machine and where it's all collected. And then central hopper takes it out to the blower, send it up to the hopper. Here's another look at the mechanical side of it. That uh, all the sprockets and the chains that drive the drums that uh, have the teeth on it for the thrasher all the way up. And here's your blower motor. You blow your fan, this triple fan here, sends the uh, air to drive the peanuts that are collected right here from the central drum up into the hopper. A lot of moving parts on this machine. After spending a couple of days in the peanut fields, I've learned a lot about that industry, how the uh, modern agriculture has a lot of science and technology that goes into it. It's not as simple as throwing some seeds down in the field, coming back later and picking up your crop. They're out there monitoring the soil, making sure it's at the right pH so they can get the right fertilizers out there, and not just a blanket pH for the whole field. They're out there taking samples from uh, multiple spots out there so they ensure each acre is as productive as possible. So I've learned a lot about how peanuts are grown and harvested. I hope you guys enjoy the video. A special thanks to Miss Heather and Mr. Walt for uh, letting me come out to their field, watching them, giving me some time one-on-one, uh, -on -one, explaining how their machines work, and uh, let me even ride in their equipment. So 
Thank you again.